A heart attack is a heart attack and a brain attack is a stroke, said Dr. Andrew Freeman, Director of Clinical Cardiology and Cardiovascular Prevention at National Jewish Health. Prevention of disability and death is possible if you act quickly. I have credible resources that I will reference to, such as an article from Madeline Holcomb from CNN and my mother, Jennifer Lucky. While this topic may not interest you now, I assure you that it may be a helpful tool navigating throughout life in case you ever come into contact with someone or yourself suffering from a stroke. Today, the audience will know the FAST acronym for a stroke and what to do if they ever have symptoms or signs of a stroke. Strokes are serious medical events that will lead to disabilities or death if not treated quickly enough. There are two different types of strokes. The two types of strokes are ischemic and hemorrhagic. Both strokes are very severe and strokes are very common. Someone in the U.S. has a stroke every 40 seconds, according to the CDC. Strokes are the leading cause of death in the United States. Symptoms often include a sudden severe headache, vision problems, trouble walking, numbness in the face or the limbs, speaking or understanding someone. If you seek med if you need to seek medical attention, seek it fast. You can receive therapies or a procedure to restore blood flow to the brain. Strokes are the leading cause of death and they are treatable if you get to the hospital fast enough. There are many ways to prevent strokes that will also prevent other cardiovascular risks such as heart problems. Do not smoke. Eat a whole food, low fat diet, exercising for 30 minutes per day, reduce the amount of stress, get enough sleep. Seven hours is adequate sleep for an adult. Build a network of love and support. They tend to notice that people with more love and support often have the best hearts and the best cardiovascular symptoms. You don't have as many risks if you have a big love and support system. My mother, Jennifer Lucky, she could have prevented a severe ischemic stroke that she suffered last January. Maybe I would not have had the stroke if I had taken better care of myself. I should have taken my blood pressure meds and controlled my stress, but it got the best of me, said her. Said my mom, Jennifer Lucky. FAST is an acronym used to describe if someone has possibly had a stroke. FAST, the first letter, F, it means face. Check their face, ask them to smile and make sure one side of their face isn't drooping like this. A stands for arms. Ask them to raise their arm and make sure one arm is not drooping. Make sure both of their arms stay up and they do not have trouble keeping their arms up. S, speech. Ask them to repeat a phrase. If their speech is sluggish or blurred, they may have had a stroke. They may also have trouble understanding you as well. Sometimes people that have had a stroke it's on the side of their brain where they cannot comprehend. T, time. Time is critical when dealing with a stroke. Time lost is brain lost. Every minute counts according to the CDC. Time is very critical and crucial when you have a stroke because sometimes they can administer a medicine within four hours of the stroke to reduce the risk of disabilities and death. The quicker you get to a hospital, the better. Your chances are slim of disabilities and death, even if you go to a hospital late. Signs of a stroke are usually clear when using this acronym as a simple test to determine whether or not to seek medical help. Stroke recovery is extremely important. Therapy can be crucial to one's recovery. Sometimes people have to learn how to do the smallest things like walk, talk, and eat again. Today, I have explained ways to know whether or someone is having a stroke and what to do if this happens. We have gone other ways to prevent strokes and heard from a stroke survivor. Make the journey as exciting as your destination. Do what you can to prevent strokes and be educated on what to do if one happens.